Hello friends, my name is Maggie and today I will be leading you through an energizing and grounding yoga flow to really wake up your body for the rest of the day. So if you're ready, meet me in child's pose. So your big toes touch, you're sending your hips back and you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose gently. And maybe with every exhale, you send your chest just a little bit closer to the earth. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Maybe you flip your palms up for an added tricep stretch. Sending breath all the way down your spine. Just take a few more moments in your child's pose, thanking yourself for showing up on your mat today. And a few more rounds of breath right here. And on your next inhale, send your hips up into a table pose and start to protract and retract your shoulders. So protracting, you're pushing out of the shoulder blades and then exhale, retract, pushing in towards the shoulder blades. So protract, inhale and exhale, retract. And then start to move through your cat-cow position, inhaling, dropping the belly and opening up the heart and exhaling, rounding the spine, tucking the tailbone. Again, inhale, drop the belly, open up the heart. Exhale, round the spine, belly button towards the spine, tuck in the chin. One more time, inhale, drop the belly, open the heart. And exhale, round the spine into your cat pose. Meet me back in a neutral tabletop position. Inhale, right fingertips towards the sky. And exhale, start to make those big circles with your right arm one way. And then reverse that direction. And on your next inhale, can you bring those right fingertips up towards the sky? And exhale, bind into your thread the needle pose. And right here, it's playtime. So you can stay right here or maybe you start to bind that opposite arm behind you. Maybe you lift up that left leg for an added balance challenge and just hold wherever you are. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Take a few more rounds of breath right here. And when you're ready, start to unbind. Inhale, bring your right fingertips back towards the sky and exhale back to your tabletop position. One cat-cow round just to release the spine and back to new neutral tabletop position. Inhale, left fingertips towards the sky and exhale, start to make those big circles with the arm. And then reverse that direction. And on your next inhale, send your left arm towards the sky. Exhale, thread that needle. And again, you can stay just right here. That is perfectly fine. Or maybe you start to play with that bind. And maybe you start to lift up that right leg towards the sky if that feels good. And just hold for a few rounds of breath right here. One more round of breath. And on your next exhale, gently let go of that bind. Inhale, left fingertips towards the sky and exhale back to your tabletop position. Take one round of cat-cow at your own pace right here. And meet me in a neutral tabletop position. You can shift side to side. Release the torso. Good, kickstand that right leg and can you bring your left fingertips up towards the sky and your left leg away from your body. 
good. Reach everything opposite direction and then exhale, tap. Inhale to reach and exhale, tap into your modified half moon. Last round, inhale, reach and exhale. This time you bind your fingers with the top of your foot and open up the chest, exhale. And take one last breath as you send your left leg right outside your left palm into your lizard lunge. This is a lizard playtime, so maybe you open and close that left hip, or maybe you just stay right there, sending your hips down and forward. One more round of breath. And inhale right here. And exhale, send your hips back into your half splits position. You can flex and point those left toes. Just feeling a stretch all in the hamstrings and the calf area of your left leg. And on your next inhale, re-bend the left knee and exhale back to your tabletop, shake it out, tap it out, and go through one rinsing round of your cat-cow. Now kickstand that left leg and exhale, open up your right arm towards the sky and right leg towards the back of the room. Inhale, extend everything long and exhale, can you tap that ankle? Two more times, inhale, and exhale, tap the ankle. Last round, inhale, lift, and exhale, maybe you start to bind for your modified half moon pose. Open up the heart and just find stillness. One more round of breath. Then inhale, extend everything, and exhale, bring the right foot right outside that right palm into your lizard lunge. You can open and close the hip once again, or maybe you just, with every exhale, send your hips a little bit more forward and down. And a few more rounds of breath here. And on your next exhale, send your hips back into your half splits. You can point and flex the toes, just waking up that right leg. And last round right here. And gently start to re-bend that right knee and then send your right leg back into your tabletop Tap it out, shake it out, go through your rinsing round of cat-cow. And on your next inhale, tuck the toes underneath you, lift up your knees and hover into our bear position. Protract through the shoulder blades, belly button towards the spine. Last round of breath here. And on your next exhale, send your hips up and back. Our first downward facing dog, my friends. Pedal it out. And maybe you start to find stillness in your downward facing dog. With every exhale, releasing the heels just a little bit closer towards the earth and the chest just a little bit closer towards your thighs. And just a few more rounds of breath. And on your next inhale, deeply bend at the knees, look towards your thumbs, and gently start to walk it up towards your hands. Forward fold. Start to ragdoll your pose, so holding on to opposite elbows, you can shift side to side, gentle bend in the knees and just let it go. And then inhale, you're gonna halfway lift. So you're making a number seven with your body, flatten out your spine, hands on your shins, 
and exhale, forward fold, round the spine. Inhale, root to rise, send your arms all the way up towards the sky, palms touch at the top, and exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, make that number seven again. Exhale, plant the palms, step your right leg back, then your left leg back. Meet me in our high plank. Inhale, untuck the toes, bring the knees down, and exhale, move through your chaturanga push-up. So elbows in, and then inhale, you're going to come into your upward facing dog, and exhale towards your down dog. Shake it out, pedal it out. And inhale, deeply bend at the knees, look towards your thumbs, and slowly walk your way towards the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, send your fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, come into your cactus pose. Inhale, root to rise, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, then your right, and maybe this time you move through your vinyasa on your toes. Inhaling towards your upward facing dog, and exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, pedal it out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale forward fold inhale root to rise palms touch exhale cactus those arms behind you inhale root to rise and exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift exhale plant your palms step hop or float back vinyasa your way meet me in downward facing dog pedal it out Inhale, deeply bend, look towards the front, step, hop, or float, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, and exhale, hands to heart center. Take a few moments here to set your intention for our practice today. Think about why you showed up on your mat today and how this reason can guide you through the rest of our practice. And last few moments. And on your next inhale, send your arms all the way back up. And exhale, fold forward, leading through the heart. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your palms, move through your vinyasa. Meet me in our downward facing dog. Pedal it out, shake it out. And inhale, deeply bend, look forward, step, hop, or flow up. Exhale, forward fold. And on your next inhale, send your hips back, lift up into your chair, and exhale, sink into that chair. Open up the heart center, inhale, and exhale, sink just a little bit deeper. Inhale right here. On your next exhale, send your heels up, flying chair. Inhale back into your chair and exhale fly. Send the arms behind you. Last round, inhale lift. Exhale fly. Hold for three, two, and one. Inhale lift everything up to stand. Exhale dive it forward, let it go. Inhale halfway lift and exhale move through your vinyasa and meet me in our down dog. Shake it out, my friends. And then finding stillness in our downward facing dog. Let's move through our flow now. Inhale, lift the right heel towards the sky, point the toes down, and then exhale, point the toes, bring your knee towards your chest, hold and then plant your right foot right in between your palms. Angle off that back foot, inhale towards your warrior one, and exhale, sink into the pose. So your back foot's at a 45 degree angle. Hips are still square towards the front. Inhale, you're going to 
bring your forearms together and exhale cactus inhale bend forward bring your arms together exhale cactus behind you last one inhale bring your forearms together and exhale cactus now inhale bind your fingers together behind you and exhale towards your humble warrior take five rounds of breath here releasing the head releasing the crinkle in between your eyebrow see if you can keep your palms touching at the top for an added stretch And inhale, release that bind, rise back up to your warrior one. And exhale towards your warrior two. The back foot is in line with that short edge of the mat. Sink a little bit deeper into your warrior two with every exhale. Inhale, flip the front palm into your reverse warrior. And on your next exhale, come into your extended side angle. Send your left arm above you. And exhale right here. It's playtime again, so maybe you stay right here or maybe you bring that bottom palm to meet the mat. Maybe you take that bind. And just hold. Moving into our half moon pose, you're gonna look around 12 inches in front of those right toes and lift off that back foot, half moon. Try to see if you can square your hips off to the side. Maybe you have play with that balance. Maybe the bottom hand comes to your heart center and have a gentle bend in that standing knee, a few more rounds of breath. And gently make your way back into your reverse warrior. Inhale and exhale, windmill your arms into your runner stretch. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center and exhale, lift off of that back foot, warrior three. Hands can be at heart center or maybe your biceps are right next to your ears for an added balance challenge. Tap that back foot for three, for two. Last tap right here, one. Lift everything up and then gently come into your high crescent lunge. Inhale. And then exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back, move through your vinyasa, inhaling towards your upward facing. And exhale, send your hips back, downward facing dog, pedal it out. We have one more side to do, my friends. So if you're ready, on your next inhale, lift up your left foot towards the sky and exhale knee to nose round the spine and then plant your left foot right in between your palms angle off the back foot inhale to your warrior one exhale sink in the pose inhale to lift and exhale to sink and then inhale, round the spine, bring your elbows together, and exhale, cactus the arms open. Two more times, inhale, round the spine, arms together, exhale, cactus. Last one, inhale, round the spine, exhale, cactus those arms behind you. Inhale, bind your fingers behind you, and exhale, fold, humble warrior. Take five rounds of breath here. Maybe the opposite thumb is on top this time. Release the forehead. And find strength in stability. On your next inhale, rise up, release that bind. And exhale, warrior two. Open up the hips towards the side. Strong arms right here. With every exhale, you sink a little bit deeper into the pose. And inhale, flip that front palm, reverse warrior. And exhale towards your extended side angle. Maybe you play with that bind this time. Maybe you stay right here. 
Maybe that bottom palm comes towards the mat. And wherever you are, just know you are still beautiful. One more round of breath here. And on your next exhale, half moon, my friends. Gently lift off of that back leg. Your body is making all four points of a compass. Maybe you play with that balance by lifting off your bottom fingers to your heart space. Gentle bend in that standing knee. And on your next exhale, come back to your reverse warrior. Inhale right here. And exhale, windmill your arms towards your runner's lunge. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Exhale, it is time to fly. Warrior three. You can bring your arms right next to your ears. Tap that bottom leg for three, for two, and last one. And then gently make your way into a high crescent lunge. Inhale, lift. And exhale, plant your palms. Shift it back into your vinyasa. Inhaling towards your upward facing. And exhaling, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog, shake it out, pedal it out. And finding stillness in our down dog now. With every exhale, bring the chest just a little bit closer to your thighs. And then inhale, you're going to walk it forward. And exhale, sit your hips down into your Malasana Yogi's Squat. So chest is open still, hands at heart center. You can bring your elbows right in between your knees. And then plant your left palm outside your left leg. Open up the right side. And inhale back to center. Exhale, plant your right palm outside your right knee. And open up the left fingers towards the sky. And inhale back to your heart center and exhale slowly and gently. Can we come into our boat position? So we're going to gently bring your hips down and then send your shins parallel to the mat. You can point and flex the toes right here. Maybe you're holding on to your thighs or your ankles or maybe you just let go. Inhale, high boat and exhale towards your low boat. Inhale back to your high boat and exhale low. Inhale high boat and maybe this time you play with your arm variations, exhale low, inhale high, maybe play with those legs as well, exhale low, inhale rise, exhale low boat, Point those toes. Inhale, rise. And here we're going to play with some Russian twists, just a little bit more core work. You twist right and left. Maybe you send those toes towards the sky, or maybe you keep that bend in your knees. Just a few more twists. Really activating through the obliques. Last one. And hold your teaser position for four, three, two and gently bend the knees plant the soles of your feet down we're going to come into our bridge position but first let's just windmill the legs left and right right and left shaking it out and come back to your center inhale right here and exhale lift up the hips into your bridge pose Inhale back down and exhale back towards your lift. And now on this last 
round. I invite you to take a wheel pose with me, or maybe you stay right here in this bridge position. And on this last round, you can take a bridge pose again, or maybe you take that wheel with me. So if you're taking that wheel, bring your palms right beside your ears, fingertips are facing your feet, and on your next exhale, sending the hip points all the way towards the sky. A really big extension through the spine and breathe through that bridge. Just a few more rounds of breath. Really lengthening out the quads as well. And then start to gently let it go. Vertebrae by vertebrae, you're bringing your back down towards the mat. Shake out the legs, windmill right to left, left to right. And then inhale, come into a little ball, bring your knees towards your chest. And gently exhale, bring both knees towards your left side. You can tee out your arms or maybe goalie post your arms into your easy twist. Look towards the right. And slowly inhale back towards center. Give yourself that nice warm squeeze and exhale, both knees towards the right, gaze towards the left, tee out your arms or gully post, and exhale, just let it go. And inhale your knees back towards center. And exhale towards your happy baby. You're holding on to the outer edges of your feet. Keeping your tailbone on the mat. And you can sway side to side. You can take this happy baby with me or maybe you play with another inversion of your choice. If you're in your happy baby, you can lengthen out one leg and the other. Maybe lengthen out both legs. I like to call that a happy adult. And last inhale right here. And then exhale, let everything go into your final resting pose, Shavasana. You can take up space off your mat. Bring your palms right beside you palms facing up towards the sky. Start to release any last tensions you might be holding. Releasing your forehead. Releasing the crinkle in between your eyebrows. Release the nose. Unclench the teeth. and release the jaw. Release any last tensions in your fingers. Release any last tensions in your legs. And finally, in your toes.
and gently start to bring life back into the body by wiggling the toes, the fingers. You can start to circle out the ankles and the wrists and gently shifting your head side to side. Just waking up the body. And start to be mindful of your breath again. And inhale, bring your knees towards your chest. One last hug. And exhale towards your fetus position, whichever side you choose. Just hold here for a few more moments. And on your next exhale, use your strong body to lift you up into your easy seated position. You can keep your eyes closed. Palms can be right on top of your knees. Maybe they're facing up, symbolizing your openness to receiving today. Let's take one final breath together. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands towards your third eye. Then towards your mouth. And finally, hands towards your heart center. Thank yourself for showing up today, for giving your gift the body of movement. Namaste.